us. And you are, okay, circle your arms, big circles with your arms, right above your head, big, big circles. That's cool. And then big circles backwards, big, big circles. And relax, now stretch up as high as you can, both hands up just as high as you can. I better check see if my phone's off, isn't I? Yeah. Otherwise that's 50 press-ups, so we're going to be here a while if your legs still hurt. Uh, yeah, okay, stretch down to the floor, fingertips to the floor. And stretch up to the ceiling. And stretch to the left. And stretch to the right. And back to the centre. Right, I'm going to go in and have a cup of coffee and I'll leave you with Amber. <laughs> you better not. <laughs> okay, carry on. Okay, feet out wide. Not really, that's more than my life's worth. Okay, slide your hands down to your ankles. Head to the centre. And stretch. Head to your left knee. And head to your right knee. And head back to the centre. Come up onto your hands. Swing one leg forward and sit yourself down. Legs out straight. Big four, touch your toes. And back. I haven't had to borrow one of my hair bands today. <laughs> okay, bring your feet in together. And with your elbows, push your knees down to the floor. Try and keep your back nice and straight. And hold that stretch on. And relax, put your hands behind. And push your knees down again. Yeah, we'll try that when you're doing it. And relax. Okay, now lift your bottoms up and try and sit on your feet like that. Oh! I've not done this in before. Yeah, and, the, and it's probably a bit unbalanced on the, on the uh, mat. You can get that, that's great. It's painful. And relax. Look, that's straight again. Feet out wide. Okay, bring your hands to the centre, take a deep breath in, breathe out and reach as far forward as you can. You can lay on the floor like that, that's fantastic. If you can't, just go down as far as you can. And slowly slide back up. Feet together. And up we get. Okay, so ready to go guys and girls. So feet together. Subidachi. Amal. And yoi. Left hand out. Right hand on your hip. Again, make sure, like we said yesterday, that this hikate hand, the elbow is tucked in right behind you like this, so you can't see it, and your punching hand is right now in front of you. Are we ready? Here we go. Ich, ni, san, shi, go, rok, shish, hach, ko, jo. Ich, ni, san, shi, go, rok, shish, hach, ko, jo. Hey! Then relax. Agyuki hand, hikute hand, okay, Agyuki hand, left hand up, hikute hand here again, make sure this elbow's tucked in, and ready, ich, ni, san, chi, go, rook, shish, haj, go, jo, ich, ni, san, chi, go, rook, shish, haj, ko, jo, hey, and your main, hands up forward, Okay, gi down barai, squeeze in, push down, ready? Ready, ich, ni, san, chi, go, rook, shish, haj, ko, jo, ich, ni, san, chi, go, rook, shish, haj, ko, jo, relax, 
Now soto uki. So one hand back, one hand out, and blocking forward. Ready? Ich, ni, san, chi, do, ruk, shish, hach, ka, ja, ich, ni, san, chi, do, ruk, shish, hach, ka, ja, and relax. And finally, your chukis, hands forward. Cross and out. Ready? Each, ni, san, shi, go, rup, shish, haj, ka, jo, each, ni, san, shi, go, rup, shish, haj, ka, jo, hey! And relax. Okay, deep breath in. And now, okay, now bring your feet together. So what I want you to do is kick my getty. So don't forget, knee lift, extend, pull back and down. Left leg first, ready. Each, knee, thumb, chi, go, rup, shish, hut, cup, jump. Now the right leg, please. Each, knee, thumb, chi, go, rup, shish. Hutch, cup, and jump. And you may, and just shake out. Okay, so that should have got, uh, got you all uh, warmed up and your body prepared. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna first look at my gelly kicks, okay? So we well, you know you've got, we're in restricted space, so we're only gonna be kicking forward and back. We're He's not gonna, what? He's bleeding. Am I bleeding? Yeah. Oh. I somehow managed to be bleeding from my head. I must have hit my head in the barn when I was getting stuff out. Never mind, we carry on. So, um, <laughs> we're just going to be doing some kicking forward and back. So you only need room just to kick forward and come back again. So with your feet together, just come a little bit further forward, Amber. That's cool. So all I want you to do is practice the knee raise for the kick. So um, I'm okay to do this on my left leg. Okay, so all I want you to do is push your knee up, push your knee up forward, drive it forward with your toes bent back on your foot pulled all the way back behind your knee just drive your knee forward yes okay so your left leg first ready itch so try and bend your toes backwards knee thumb so you want to imagine your knees coming forward not going up chi go rook shish haj ka ja push it forward now try the other leg Push your knee forward. Itch. Knee. Thun. Chi. Go. Bend your toes up. Rook. Shish. Hutch. Cup. Jump. So when you bring your knee up, you want to imagine that something's here in front of you and your knee's hitting that first. So you've kind of got two, two strikes in one with my Gary. You have your Hizagari first and then your leg extension second for your Maigari. So um, try not to bring the knee up, just bring your knee up here for me Amber. Try not to bring it straight up in front of you because it's coming upwards and you're tightening these muscles up. What you want to be doing is pushing it forward to keep the hip flexor muscles open so that your leg can now extend and then pull back inwards, okay? That's what we're looking to achieve. So what I want you to do now, come cool, on, I'm bleeding. Awesome. Yeah, okay, so with your feet together, what I want you to do now is bring your left knee up, kick out, slowly pull back in and back down again. Okay? Are we ready? Okay, so left leg. So lift, push your foot out slowly, bring it back in and down. Ready? Itch. Push out and bend your toes back as well. Ready? Knee. And back, bend your toes back. Done. Well back. That's better. Chi. Go. Rook, shish, slowly, push it out slower, haj, that's better, kyo, and ya. Okay, now try the other leg, but try and make it slow, slow. So you're almost pushing the foot out 
slow pulling it back in and down supporting that other leg supporting on your other leg don't stand with it straight have it bent lift push back and down i'm not going to try that on the other leg because i'll probably collapse in the knee okay ready so try right leg lift pushing back ready each so push it out a bit slower knee slower sun she that's it go Rocco. Sheesh. Hodge. Cut. Jar. Okay, so nice, slow, long extension. Now go back to your left leg for me. Okay? This time what I want you to do is bring your leg up, left leg up. Push it out into a kick, but hold it in the kick position for five seconds. Okay, ready? Five seconds, ready? So, ready, itch. One, two, three, four, five, pull back and down. Now the other leg, knee. One, two, three, four, five, and back. Keep it high, left leg, sun. Three, four, five, and back. Right leg, chi. Two, three, four, five, and down. Try and make sure that the leg comes back in comes back down so we don't drop the leg there and swing it back after the extension we pull it back in we pull it back down so you're working the muscles in exactly the same chain of movement going back or a reverse chain of movement going back as they did when they went out if this was a karate lesson susan would be plastering your head up now yeah i know is it still bleeding yes okay susan we need a plaster i'm gonna go and get one kevin knows what i've done okay left leg ready itch Slow, two, three, four, five. That well, wasn't five. <laughs> right leg, knee. Two, three, four, five. And pull that foot back in. Ready? Itch. Two, three, four, five. That's the way. Same <laughs> on the right leg. Knee. Two, three, four, five. And down. One more on each leg. Itch. Four, five, and down. And right leg, <laughs> knee. Two, three, four, five, and down. Well done. Okay, give yourselves a break from that. Okay, so that's a good way of developing some muscular strength and also working on your core to actually pull that leg back. When you think of this kick, <coughs> the way back, the way back is preparing for another kick. So I might want to do another my Gary, or I might want to turn to the side and do Kokomi Gary. Okay, so don't when you're practicing these and training, don't just let the leg collapse and finish. What we want to do is be able to pull the foot back in, ready, ready to do another kick. Okay, so that's what you that's what you want to feel when you're pulling it back in. Okay, so I am disappeared for a minute. What I want you to do is bring your feet together, uh, and I'm going to bring your left leg up. And you're going to kick five times but you're going to do it like this you lift each back knee back sun back she back go back so you're ready to kick each time okay i don't need a plaster i am not sticking a plaster on my head yes you are oh, no way okay i'll do it for no, you no 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 okay no way am i having a bat stuck on my head Ready? Yes. Ready? You haven't so, got any hair to it Ready? Now. Ready? So left knee up. You're going to kick, pull back, and do that five times. Ready? Are you ready, guys? Ready? Itch. Pull back. Knee. Slowly. Turn. Bend your toes up. Chi. They're not. They're pointy. Go. And down. Now try the other leg. Ready? Itch. Slower. Knee. Turn. Chi, go, and down. So the whole, the whole point of this is to try and do it slow. Because if we do it quick, what happens from this position, because my back's flat and my legs are flat, if I kick too fast here, I'm going to throw myself back. Whereas if I was kicking from Zenkutu Dachi, because I'm kicking forward, my weight's going forward with a kick so I can control it better. So from this static position, Always do your kicks a little bit slower. 
yeah? It's not, not about speed, this is about balance and about control. So from here, this position always kick slightly slower and a little bit more deliberate and keep this knee high on your return. Okay, so we'll try that again, guys. So back in your position, ready? Left leg up and out slowly. We're gonna repeat five times, ready? Each. That's it, knee. Come. She. That's better. Go. And down. You see the knee there stayed the same height all the way through. That was great. Now the other leg. Ready. Each. Knee. Keep the knee high. Sun. She. And go. And down. Okay, so we could repeat this all afternoon and really wear your legs out, couldn't we? No, we're not going to do that. Okay, so now what I want you to do is put your left foot forward. So we're now making Zen Kutodachi. So you're now going to kick with your right leg. I'm just going to get rid of this plaster. Put it on. I'm not putting a plaster on the top of my head. You've got no hair to rip out. That's fine. I'll live. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to kick through the stance, bring the knee through the center, kick through the stance and pull it back but let the knee come back out exactly the same height and the same way it went out. So the knee comes through here, foot extends, and the knee comes back, and the foot comes back just like that. Okay, so you can have your hands by your side, or you can have your hands in your Kamai position, in your ready position. Ready? Here we go. Not fast, but slow. Ready? Itch! Kick, pull back, and down. Knee! Tan! She Go Roku Shish Haj Go And jump Good, now the important leg here is this one If this leg straightens as you kick you see, Whoa, so you completely lose your balance, don't you? So completely lose your balance if you straighten that leg. So now come back for me, Amber. Now when you bring your knee through, keep this leg compressed, keep this muscle engaged, and push your tailbone in when you kick and you should hold your balance. So try again, guys. Ready, five more. Ready, keep this leg bent. Itch. Hey, knee. Stay in more balance now. Sun. Slowly. Chi. And go. And yeah, mate. Good, change sides. Okay, so remember that this time, this front leg, keep it bent. Try not to stand up like that when you kick. Try and push down on that leg and kick through, kick through that stance, okay? Ready? So, left leg kicking. Just open your stance a little bit wider. Ready? H. Good. Knee. Not fast, slow, and deliberate. Sun. Back. Go. Good. Rock. Press down. Shish. So if you keep that leg compressed, you should find your balance. Go. And jump. Good. We did five on extra on the other side, didn't we? So we need to do five extra on this side, just so we stay balanced. Are you ready? Right leg forward. Okay. Why? Well, because he both going away. Five more. Ready? Okay, ready guys? Sorry about this. That's it, Amber, come back in the middle. Right leg forward. Ready? Five more. Each. Knee. we're going to do two kicks so what I want you to do is with your left leg is just lift it but lift the knee to the middle of your body if you can see what I'm doing lift it to the center so if you're standing in Zen Kutadachi this is your center that's where your knee needs to come to your center 
kick and bring it back down again. To the center, kick and bring it back down. Okay? Yeah, sit, try not to rock back like that because you'll fall over. So keep your stance, bring your knee to the center and kick off your front leg. Try slowly, ready? Itch! It's hard, slow. Knee! Try not to rock back. Just bring your knee across. Sun! Chi! Go! Keep the back leg compressed. Rook! Shish! Haj! Ka! Don't you dare try. Ja! Good. See, I'm being told off. You will kill yourself. No, I won't. Yes, you so, will. <laughs> so, the trick here, guys, is this leg comes inwards into the centre to kick to the centre. It doesn't kick out wide because if my target is here, my knee needs to come in to kick to the centre of my target. Does that make sense? Just give me a thumbs up if it does. I can't see you, but anyway, you still give me a thumbs up. Okay, change legs. Now I'm not going to do it on this leg, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, so this knee, this knee needs to sweep across to the middle, foot tucked in, then kick, and then back down again. Okay, and you should, by pulling it across, help to stabilise your body. Ready? Right leg, each. Good. Knee. Make sure it goes forward again. Done. That's it. So this foot needs to come back down to exactly the same spot it starts from. Go. Rook. Sheesh. Hodge. Go. Go. Excellent. Change sides. So now we're going to put the two kicks together, working on your core control. So what you're going to do first, you're going to bring your left foot across, itch, down, then kick knee with the back leg and down, okay? Just like that. Are you ready guys? Left leg first, itch, knee, and down. Itch, knee, itch, knee, itch, knee, itch. Knee, itch, knee, one more, itch, knee, and control it back down, change sides. Now exactly the same on the other side guys, the right leg, knee drags across to the centre and kicks, ready, that must go itch, down and then the back leg, knee and down, okay? Trying to keep the centre controlled in the middle, yeah? So ready, here we go, itch. Knee, itch, knee, itch, knee, itch, knee, itch, and knee, and you may. So both of the kicks should be along the same line. So the line that that front kick is hitting, the back leg kick should hit exactly the same line going forward. Okay, so yai, put your left foot forward again. Okay, this time I want you to do both kicks, one count. Front leg, back leg, ready? In your own time, don't go fast. But be deliberate, be slow and be controlled. Work your balance, ready? Two kicks, itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Did you key eye? Change sides. Okay, same again guys. So this time right leg is your front leg. So right leg kick first. Come back. Make sure it comes back down to give you the base to then do your second kick. Ready? Ready. Itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Rook. Shish. Kiai Haji. And you may. Okay, so. Just some little core drills there, strength drills to, to, for timing your kick. 
So what we're going to do now is look at Kokomi Gerries. Kokomi Gerries. Okay, so we're going to kick the Kokomi Gerry from from the Zenkul Tudachi stance, not from Kibadachi. Okay, from Zenkul Tudachi. So what I want you to do is make your left foot Zenkul Tudachi. So what I want you to think of here, guys, is you're actually going to kick and prepare for a Mai Gerry. This is a slightly I've been looking at different ways to kind of improve the kicking action that we have and to try and help people to learn how to control balance on these kicks and stuff like that. So what I want you to think of, um, I found something uh, quite useful this week actually um, from someone else which I think I'm going to try, which I, I like. So what I want you to do is think that you're going to make a my gully kick. So the legs are going to come through the centre, kick and from that point there you then rotate into your kokomi gary. Yeah. So you push your leg through as if you're going to kick my Gary. As the leg extends, you then ouch turn your body into Kokomi Gary. Yeah, I'm being careful. Okay? So if you watch what Amber does, she's going to kick straight and then rotate on the foot to push it to Kokomi Gary. You ready? Each and back. So the knee comes through the center and kicks straight. Yes? Okay? So try that, guys. So kick my Gary. Then rotate on this this foot here, your back foot. Then rotate the foot to push the leg into Kokomi position. Ready? Slowly. Each and back. Knee. Tang. Chi. Go slowly. Rook. Chish. And hard. Good. Now to develop that, to help you with the connection between the kick and the turn, if you, uh, what I want you to do is kick and hold your my Gary, then turn your body if you can. Okay. So this is a way of developing the connection between the kick and the turn. So slowly kick out each. Then from there, turn knee and back. It's a little bit, it's a little bit difficult, but that's the connection you want and you gradually shorten the distance and the time between the extension of your my Gary and the turn of your body so you connect the two together okay all it does is challenge your balance point right do five more on this leg please and then we're going to swap ready itch and back and try and make the return back as graceful and as uh, controlled as the kick outwards ready knee pull it all the way back and down good Sun. Pull your knee back in and down. Chi. Pull the knee back in and down. Go. And back down. Last one. Rocko. And good. So again, always remember when the knee's being come back in, when you've got your uh, hikiashi, you're, you're um, pulling that knee back in, preparing for another kick. <laughs> preparing for your next movement. You're not just letting your leg collapse. You're preparing for the next action. Okay, change legs. Okay, so same again. Kick forward as if you're doing my Gary, then rotate off your supporting leg and push it into Kokomi Gary. Ready? Slowly. Each. Knee. Tan. Chi. Go. Roku. Chish. Hodge. Caught. <coughs> and jock. Good. Okay. So, some of you, I don't know if you're struggling with your balance or your control. So, uh, it's a different way of doing it. But this way, you're actually bringing your knee through the center. If you're engaging the, the, the core of your body, once you've got your kicking leg here, literally it's just a side turn, but your leg is already in the center position. So it's just pushing it forward and turn it into the turn it into the kicking position you want to. Right, we're just gonna do six more on that leg for me. Okay, so right leg forward. Ready? Ready, edge! Knee! Get the leg back to Hikiyashi. Chi. Go. Kiaruko. Hey. 
I see eyes for her. <laughs> okay, yummy. Give your legs a little bit of a uh, shake. Okay, now put your left foot forward again. Your left foot forward again. Okay, so we're going to do two kicks here. So your front leg, your left leg is going to drag across, kick my Gary, and come down. Your back leg, your right leg is going to kick through and into Kokomi Gary, yes? And do the Kokomi Gary like we've just done it, as if you're going to do a my Gary and then turn. Okay, so front leg, my Gary, back leg, Kokomi Gary. Slowly, two counts, ready? Each! Knee! Slowly, thump! Chi! Go! Ruku! Chish! Hard! Try and get that kick, the two kicks on the same line. So if this is your kick line for my Gary, itch, then your Kokomi Gary knee hits the same line. Okay? Ready? You just gave me an electric shock. Yeah, I just got a shock off you as well. It's, it's my magnetic. In the, it's the gazebo. It's the gazebo. Ready? Itch! Knee! Thump! Chi! Go! Rook! And you may change sides. So now the right leg is doing the front kick. So my Gary, so don't forget, drag it across to the centre as you pick it up and kick. Ready? Edge! Kokomi Gary. Knee! My Gary. Sun! Chi! Go! Rook! Kylie's nice and slow. Chish! Hodge! Car! And jump! And you may. Change back again. Change stances. My legs are aching. Yeah, I hope everybody's legs are aching. So this time I want you to do five combinations. Front leg my Gary, back leg Kakoma Gary, one count both kicks. Are you ready? We'll do it slowly. And don't do your Kokomi Gary until your front leg is back on the ground and you're in a position to do it. Are we ready? Okay, itch! That's it, two kicks, one count. Knee! Thumb! Chi! Ki I go! Hey! And change sides. She's got a very loud voice, isn't she? <laughs> Okay, same again guys and girls. Front leg my Gary, back leg a comb and Gary, two kicks, one count. Edge. Knee. Thun. Chi. Okay, I go. Hey. And yeah, mate. Okay guys, give your legs a little bit of a rest. Oh please. Give them a shake out. Okay, right, so we'll give those a rest now and what we'll do to finish off What we'll do to finish off is a little bit more on here and sandan for you So yesterday we had the opening Sequences left and right and the first two techniques down the middle if Amber just wants to just start at the beginning for me we'll just Go over those first few techniques again. We've just got enough room here. So from your itch, knee, sun, she, go, rook. Okay, go back again. So make a big strong block. Don't make it wishy-washy. So turn your hip, hip, make the stance, come in, connect, disconnect, connect. Disconnect. Okay, once again, ready? So big strong block, first move. Each. Knee. Sun. Each. Knee. Sun. Now make with this hand Uchiuki and Urazuki punch. Make Boroto Uki and Kukuta Dachi. Each. Don't forget the weight shift. Push down. Press down to Yosuki. Each. Knee. Drive forward. Okay, so that's what we cut. That's what, just to recap yesterday. So what we're going to do now is the mid section, which is quite a, uh, a tricky little section with three techniques. So.
we're going to go, just coming back a little bit so you've got enough room. So we're going to go from the first ki eye position, and what we're going to do here is a fumakami. So the knee comes forward in a straight line, this leg turns, we land in a stomping kick, fumakami, kibadachi, in this position. Strike with the elbow, and strike for akalushi. Okay, so first technique is your fumakami. So if you squat and jo or join in, ready, etch. Strike with the elbow, knee, san. Now your front foot opens. The back foot comes through the middle, up, down, strike with the elbow, and strike there. Now I know some of you haven't got a lot of room, and you might not have enough room to do a third one. So we're gonna come back to the beginning. We're just gonna practice two. So come back to the yoi position. Ready? So lift and stop. Ready, itch. Strike, knee, strike, sun. Good, so you actually reach forward and hit. Don't just lash it out, kind of a little stretch forward. So open this front foot, bring this leg through the center, form a kami, itch. Strike, knee, lash, sun. We will do one more because this is the full six. This is the full sequence. So if you need to shuffle back a bit like that, shuffle back. Turn that foot forward. Bring this leg through the centre. Down. Strike MP and or I can. And then back to the beginning. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. We'll put that bit on the end then. Okay. So from here. From here. So your knuckles are into your hips, on top of your hips and your feet are together. So just drive your right knee through the middle, Fumakomi, ready, edge. Strike, MP, knee, thumb. Okay, open the front foot, bring the back leg through the middle, edge, knee, thumb. Okay, one more, open the front foot, drive through the middle, edge, strike, knee, thumb. Now from here, we will give you one more technique. From here, what I want you to do is turn into Zenko Tadachi, push your weight forward, and transfer the weight onto that hand. There. Okay? So come back to your hip position. Just watch one more time. Drive and push forward. Each. So you're pushing your weight forward and pushing the hand out. Okay, and you may. Back to the start position. Ready? Okay, so if you can't make, if you haven't got enough room to make the three techniques down the middle, do two, then shuffle back a stance, okay? Okay, ready? Here we go. Edge. Knee. Thumb. Open the front foot. Edge. Knee. Thumb. Shuffle back a stance. Open the front foot. Edge. Knee. Thumb. Now push forward each. And you may. And back to the beginning again. Back to your yoi position or your start position. Ready? So, Fumakami. Edge. Knee. Thumb. Open the front foot. Edge. Knee. Thumb. Shuffle back a stance. Open the front foot. Edge. Knee, thump, then open and push, itch. So really make that go a little bit further forward. So you're pushing something out of the way and you're utilizing all of your weight to, to shift it. Okay, and come back. Right, so there's a little bit of timing in this now, guys. So if we come here, those three techniques, the Fumakomi, the Enpiochi, and the Urakun, are all timed within the same count, yes, but done individually. Is so, that the yeah, so just no, just that technique. So, Fumakomi, MP, Urakan, just one. So, this is what it looks like. Ready? Edge! Okay, and come back. So, did you notice that when the Fumakomi landed, the MP come in straight on the end of it, and it's only a subtle little movement, and then launch the Urakan. Okay, so have a go at this, guys. Are you ready? So all three together. Edge. Good. Now open the front foot. And the next set. Knee. 
Shuffle back a stance. Open the front foot. Done. And push your knee. And your may. One more time. Hands on your hips. Ready? Okay. Edge. Open the front foot. Knee. Shuffle back a stance. Open the front foot. Done. G. And your may. Okay. So now what I want you to do is do the whole sequence in one go. Okay? One count. One count. One count. I want you to go through that sequence. Pardon me, that sequence in one count. So, start your position. I will, I will give you a little pause to allow you to shuffle back after the second combination. Yeah? Okay, ready? As you wait. And back. Hip position. Ready? One more time. As you wait. And your mate. Okay. So, just giving you a few things to think about there on here and Sandan. Cool, look at the time. Bang time on. Is it? Cool, fast. Bang on time. <laughs> okay. So, just do a recap on a few key points of that of that combination. So, Vamba can just come to the middle for me and just make here. So, this knee on your first kick comes straight through the middle. You twist, land in Kibadachi to make your Fumakomi bring the weight down in your Fumakomi. So this hand then strikes very short, comes back first, then Urakan over the top and comes back. To make sure you stay on the straight line, open this front foot so that this back leg can now come through the middle. It's up and down, strike, come back. So when you make your strike, Elbow back to there first and then strike outwards and come back. Yeah. Over that way. Yeah. What what tends to happen with this is we land here, MP strike there, and then we'll do our Urukan from here. And then you go that way. And then you go offline. So if you think about it, if you think about it, if I've landed and hit someone with my elbow, their head is there. So I need to hit them in the midsection with my elbow and their head should be just about there, it's not going to be over there. So MP strike, come back to the centre, and Urakan. Then that keeps me on this forward line. The other mistake people make is they go like this, and then go up to yeah. that one. Okay, so one more time guys, just to finish off. Okay, ready, down the middle, and I'll count for you this time. So hands on your hips, ready, H. Open the front foot, knee. Shuffle back. Thun. G. Push out. And your main. So all those techniques should keep you on one straight line. You shouldn't veer off at an angle. Okay, so that's our lesson for today. Can you just come forward, Amber? Okay, so I hope that's been useful again. Uh, we will survey the weather tomorrow morning. You up for one tomorrow morning? Let's see if I can get her out of bed before 10 o'clock. Not a chance. Not a chance, okay. So we, uh, we'll see about doing one tomorrow morning for you, half past ten. Um, and then um, and then it's, oh my God, it's Sunday again. Okay, guys, so. You should be lunch. That's by your side. So if any of you have got any questions about what we've done, about the cat, then just um, send me a message or uh, you can ask online, put it, put it on here afterwards uh, and I'll answer you, okay? I'll, I'll probably sit... I'll probably sit and watch the screen for a couple of minutes and if anyone's got any questions, put them on the screen. Okay, and then I'll, I'll answer them while you're on. Okay, so, it's off. Shtotch jinkaku, kansai ni to morokoto. Shtotch mokoto no michi yame morokoto. Shtotch toriyoko no senshin o yashinao koto. Shtotch ragyo amanzuro koto. Shtotch keki no yu aimashi morokoto. Show me Ray. Sensei Nu, right? Otto Nugani, right? Was. 
Thanks, lad. Okay, guys, enjoy your evening, the rest of your evening today. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Thank you once again to uh, 